Roster Mania 3, baby. Part 3. Part 3. three. Probably, the, I would say probably the last one we're going to do for a little bit. Um, maybe not, uh, but I think this is about rounds up the rosters we were pretty interested in. Uh, but we'll still be uploading and streaming Call of Duty, so if you guys want to check that out. We're plugging ourselves right now. Yep. At our big shot, Jake Busy V. But uh, big news last night, Luminosity, as we speculated, adds gunless. Yep. So you got John Formal gunless and slacked. But then E United announces today that they have J Cap, which means Luminosity's looking for a four or fifth. But then Nate Shot comes through with the leaked info that <laughs> Classic hmm. is on that team. Leak shot, man. Leak shot. Leak shot out here just giving away intel. But yeah, classics, um, that's huge, man. Reunites with Slacked. Mm -hmm. You had that old Rise Nation roster, um, Luminosity, La or IW, two team together. Um, I was using a scary team now. Scary. Very scary. <laughs> I, here's, here's my thing. I thought it was scary when Cap was assumed to be on there. I still think, for me personally, I would rather see Cap on that roster than Classic. I think Classic's individual skill might might be better at this point, but I think Cap brings a leadership aspect that that roster needs. Mm -hmm. And I don't... <clears throat> Classic's kind of seems like a quiet guy. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I think that, we, I think we both think it's top three. Yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those scenarios where it's so it's so nitpicky to pick from like like they're all so good. All ten players we're talking about between the, both of the teams, you know what I mean? Between yeah. like United and LG, I mean, they're all they both came together as great teams. Now, Jcap going to United is going to help them a lot. In, yeah, we'll go over that one a little bit too. Yeah, in basically what you were saying, he brought to the team in LG that leadership role. I mean, I don't see Classic being quiet in this game. I think he's going to be one of the better players too. But yeah, yeah, I mean, he kind of kind of had not his best year with World War Two. Yeah. The two to three years before that, the dude I feel like was like an unsung hero hero for that roster when he was playing with Slacked and uh, Octane yeah. for the past couple of years. 100%. Um, I think this game will be better for him. I feel like he, I feel like maybe I'm wrong. I feel like he's a little bit faster paced player, and I think that's kind of where his decline this past year went off. Yeah. Um, again, I I. Maybe I'm just biased. I, I just liked Cap with the Luminosity roster, but I still think that they'll be fine. I don't see any conflict. Gomez is going to be that flex position. Still got Formal at the AR, and the other three can do the other three things. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I, this is definitely going to be a top three roster, I think, on paper going in. Yeah, with or without J-Cap. They're, they're, yeah. they're placing, in my eyes, still stands as one of the top three teams going in um so now we're jcap on his new roster with e united you got him christini arcides clay and then they pick up a bz from enigma six mm -hmm. kind of up and coming um from my understanding was one of the top players on that roster as as an am team um jcap and clay won World champs together. Yeah. Way back in the AW days. I got two leaders, I feel like. This to me this this is this is another year where I feel like E United is a fifth six team, dude. Like just consistently Yeah. Like and I just feel like they're gonna be in the same spot they've been. I could definitely see them winning against t these other like 100t and lg and optic oh yeah they're definitely an up upset yeah but it, but like you said it, i think they're still kind of the underdog from the top five you know they're definitely yeah. 
like you said, that fifth, sixth slot for me. Um, I don't think that they're the kind of like just dynasty team, like the top three that we've seen come together that we've right. talked about. I mean, they're good. They're going to perform really well. I I could see them coming out with a couple event wins. I mean, I, I think, yeah, I overdue. think <laughs> they're, just, they're long overdue. I mean, the Twins haven't won since IW when they were teaming with Gunless and Silly. Mm-hmm. Clay hasn't won since AW with that phase roster. And they always come up so close, but short. Yeah. They got to go over the top one of these times, and maybe Cap and um, Abizi just puts them over. I, I, I haven't watched a lot of Abizi, so I can't give you an exact rundown, but I know the kid's good from what I've seen. Um, Cap, Cap is Cap, dude. He's probably, for me, I feel like he's one of the most consistent players to ever play the game. Right. Um, and if him and Clay worked before, I don't see how they can not work again. Maybe he'll help bring those twins back over the top. They've all had all good, right. really good events. Everyone, like RCD's Pristini, sorry, Clayster, and Jake App, have all had like good events, and they're all players that we know are top tier players. It's just another one of those teams coming together towards the end of all the roster mania, where we're going to have to wait and see if Abizi can step up and if Jake App can kind of enhance the roster that we're looking at. Right. Yeah, I again, I think they're they can win. They definitely can win. Um, will this roster change put them over the top? I I don't know. Um, it's just something to see. We'll see it when it gets there. But they're definitely not a bad roster. I mean, mm-hmm. the core three, I guess, in this team that's been teaming for a year. They or over a year now. They they don't. They don't fall off. They just no. It's just it's just, need to get over that hump. Yeah, J Cap's a good a good start for that. I mean, he's yeah, exactly. He's a good fit for any team, <laughs> really. Oh yeah, I, you can't go wrong with Cap. No. I I feel like he's kind of like almost he's one of those role players. Like he's not going to be the best slayer for the most part, but he'll do the dirty work and he's just a good leader. So, um. That's all that's really happened, except for we have Splice 2. Splice 2.0. Splice 2.0. Splice Halo goes COD. Got Stellar, Renegade, Shotzi, Eco. This little Halo dynasty that knocked off XCLG, X-Optic, current Tox. Mm -hmm. Numerous times in the past year, finally Tox went over. But, you know... If there's one thing we've seen from Halo pros going in the Call of Duty realm, it's been pretty good results. You got Formal who's done it, Nabel who's done it, Hell Krim did it. Yeah. Um, Nate even played a little bit of Halo. I so they have four. I I think they can be good, dude. Like I again, we've never seen them play COD. I don't see why or, not? I mean. I mean, There's some crossover there. Where the, yeah. Like you said, people have done it. People have done it, and if this team's been that good for that long, they already have chemistry. Yeah. Um. I mean, Halo and COD are different games, but you still need to aim and shoot. Skills, like, yeah. No, and like have chemistry, be able to create stats. So they do that. They don't have a fifth. But Halo pros, you know, switching over because. No one knows what Halo's happening. Frosty from that Dynasty squad is... He says that he is playing in the COD season. He played with three of those guys in the Black Ops 3 throwback with Hitch. I'm thinking he's the fifth. Paint in the picture, you know? I, I think he's the fifth. Obviously, they haven't announced it yet. Um, I don't know if they're holding off or... What because I know there's one more Halo event coming up, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure he's playing with um, 
obviously the current roster, the current Tox roster. Right. So I don't know if it's because I don't know how they have their contract structure too. Because obviously they're their own org now. But I'm guessing if he is and hasn't announced his COD team, it just it'll have to do with timing. Yep. Um. That's you know we won't know until we see them, but I, they definitely have potential just being champions in a different first person console shooter yeah like, they're definitely one of my seen, one of the teams i'm most excited to watch when the game comes out now and just yeah to see how they do you know, I, mean. I almost you know i've probably followed halo a little bit more than most people the last couple of years i'm almost more excited for this splice team than their main team i mean yeah because if they do well it's like <laughs> this is an entire on, halo roster that just switched over yeah. and is winning like Mm-hmm. That would make me super. And happy. who knows? Maybe their fifth isn't frosty, but I, I just, I think the stars are aligning. Yeah. I hope, um, I hope it is to have a full Halo team transfer over. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Um. Other than that, now you got a, you got fellow who's now a free agent. Um. That's about Maybe it. They pick up <laughs> where, where will oh, fellow go? <laughs> who knows? Maybe they pick up but, fellow. Get a COD pro in the mix. Yeah, get a let fellow lead the pack, yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> but that's it, man. I think for now, I mean, unless some other crazy stuff happens, it's probably the end of the video. End, end of the end of the little roster mania run for now. Mm -hmm. Um, not saying that they won't be back. They've been fun. I I think we'll make other videos discussing Call of Duty. And competitive rules and all that stuff. The next, mm -hmm. we'll we'll have other style videos like this. But you know, what's good must come to an end, or something. I don't know. Something like all that. Good things must come to an end. All good things must go to an end. Like, it's not just. It's not an end though. It's just the beginning. <laughs> you haven't seen all of us where we just started. Um, it's not good. Again, it's follow follow Big like Shot, man. He's close. He's close to... We're close to hitting affiliate. Close to hitting affiliate. If you guys could like, comment, subscribe. That'd be awesome. And until next time... God, I can't talk today. Until next time, I'm just excited I got new internet. Let's go Call Let's of Duty, go. baby. Blackout and Black Ops 4. Here we come. We are hopping on. And I... All right, guys. <laughs> so I realized literally probably within an hour after we made this video, Frosty... Uh, who I speculated was going to be playing with Splice, got picked up by E6. Um, didn't really look into that whole roster. Obviously, General's on there, but um, I'm guessing they'll be all right. I didn't see. I mean, I saw who was all on there, but I don't remember off the top of my head. It's late at night. I'm about to go to bed. But um, then, obviously, EG picked up Fellow, Saint, Goon, Royalty, Lacefield. Uh... This team could be good. I mean, I, Goon and Royalty did all right with Lightning Pandas. And Saints Ben, Saints Ben, I feel like, a very underrated player the past couple of years. Fellow did, I think he was a good pickup for United this past year, but apparently things didn't work out. Uh, can't get mad at them for dropping him for cap, but... I don't think he was necessarily the problem why they didn't win. And then Lacefield, he's kind of been on the back burner the past couple of years, but never count that dude out, dude. He's he's pretty good. But that's all I wanted to say. I'm about to go to bed. Thanks again for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Adios.